Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Mackham and Ty. It's been a while since our last video and there are reasons for that and they will all become clear at the end of this video. So this video is all about our pursuit of buying a house in Thailand. We looked at a few properties. Here I'm going to show you three properties, one of which we decided to buy and two which we looked at which we did, we did like but ultimately uh, the decision, decision was made um, and, uh, and we'll show you that video uh, in, a, in a little while. So the first one was uh, just off Siam Country Club Road at Siam Place. As you can see, advertised on coastal real estate for 5.9 million Thai baht and uh, also you can rent it at 45,000 Thai baht. <laughs> So inside the house, here's the kitchen, a good size, obviously a breakfast bar you can see there. And it, uh, it is a nice kitchen, everything included that's in there, the microwave, the oven, the fridge, freezer and the washing machine, everything is included in the sale. And it is, um, it is nice, a nice, uh, nice worktop on there as well. There you can see the pool outside and there's doors there so the doors open up onto the pool one thing that i didn't like about this was the pool isn't very far away from the house so there's not a lot of room to walk um to walk around the pool but we'll look at that in a second this is the uh, the main living area again you've got all of the uh, furniture which is uh, included in the price um it is decorated nice this because it's quite nice so you could move straight in it's not a, not an issue there There is some really nice furniture in here. Um, as I say, it is included in the price. This table is uh, this table is very nice. We'll take a look outside um, and uh, and have a look at the pool now. And as you can see, there's not a lot of room. I mean, when you come out these doors, there obviously is room, and there's some sun lounges there. But round the side, there isn't really that much uh, that much room to walk, walk around. Here's one of the bedrooms now. There's a large bed in there, so there's, there is quite a bit of room and a computer desk. Um, very nicely decorated. The tiling on the floor is nice, and the, the wardrobes as well are, um, are nice. Aircon units in every room, which is good. And then uh, we'll go inside and have a look in the bathroom. Again, very nice, very nice units, tastefully tiled, nicely uh, nicely decorated. The shower there. So it is ensuite and it's uh, it's a shared ensuite with uh, with the second bedroom. We'll just go into the uh, second bedroom now and, uh, and have a look. Again, it's a large room, it's nicely decorated. You could just move straight in here and you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't have any issues nice wardrobes in the corner there and into the main bedroom this is fantastic to be fair uh, a really really well well presented room Decoration is absolutely fantastic. And remember all this is included in the price, so it is something to take into uh, consideration when, you, when you're looking to buy the place. I'll put the prices up at the end on how much the, uh, the house is and how much the rent is for this one. Um, there's, the, uh, there's the door into the bathroom. And you've got a, a jacuzzi there. 
obviously you've got your shower in the bathroom. This is really big and a really nice size. And to see there's your, uh, there's your step up into your, uh, to your jacuzzi. Very nice. Okay, now outside to the pool. This is from the main bedroom. Again, the only thing I don't like here is the fact that there isn't a lot of space to walk around. At the top there, fair enough there is. You've got a couple of sun lounges on, as I mentioned. But around the side, there isn't really that much um, that much space. I'll walk down the side now, actually, and, uh, and just show you what I mean. Could just jump in there. It's a, a really hot day, so um, it would be very nice to... Uh, to have a dip in there but that won't be happening today this is the back of the house shower there for when you when you've been in the pool or when you're going to go in the pool um, again around the back of the house there isn't a lot of room so you can understand why the pool area is quite tight actually but it's not something that I particularly like at the front there is a little bit of a garden area and a drive for your uh, for your car or cars or uh, a motorbike So everything here, everything is here if you want to uh, to move straight into the house and um, and just get on with your life. Um, no work to do. It is uh, it is a really nice house. As I say, it's 5.2 million. Um, the rent is 30,000 a month, which um, it's quite steep if you if you're on your own, I suppose, or if you if you're just a couple. If you've got a family, I suppose 30,000 for this. It's going to give you a lot of room in order to um, for your family to stay, um, but that's obviously an individual uh, individual choice. So that was house number one. This is the second one we looked at, and it was about a two-minute drive away from uh, Siam Place. It was on a lane uh, of its own, um, not in a in a complex, so no security or anything like that. Um, fully refurbished, all the furniture and everything's included in the price. Um, and there's um, three rooms, so two bedrooms and a spare room. And the spare, I say that because you'd use the spare room maybe as, um, as an office, um, or obviously you could use it as a, as a third bedroom. As you can see, it's a nice pool outside. We'll have a look in the office uh, or the spare room first. Again, it's all nicely decorated. It's all brand new, being refurbished. Um, brand new air conditioning units, as you can see. And the bathrooms are um, are all all the same, really um, decorated in exactly the same way. But there are some extra features in in one of the rooms. Uh, this room here, as I say, nicely tiled, nice big shower, to waterfall shower, and the uh, the toilet and the um, sink are, uh, are really uh, really nice. So we'll move outside of there and into um, what I would call bedroom number one. As I say, everything's included. So your lights, your bedside tables, the bed um, and your wardrobe there included, um, included in the price. Quite a spacious room. I think you're probably going to need some more storage space. Um, and as you see in here, there is actually some storage space, some extra storage space. Um, how much you'd need, I don't know. Um, I know Nina would need a lot more than that, so I would have to get some uh, another wardrobe, that's for sure. As I say, the bathrooms are, um, are decorated in exactly uh, the same way. And all the rooms do lead out to the, uh, the swimming pool, which is nice. This is the second bedroom. Again, as I say, leads outside onto the, uh, the swimming pool area. Beds, uh, bedside cabinet, glass bedside cabinets and lights there. And um, a wardrobe and um, some kind of little storage area there as well. Or maybe a, a dressing table of some kind. Tiled bathroom, nicely uh, nicely done as I say. Nice big, nice big shower. 
and the uh, the shower is um, is is powered by the uh, the water heater, which is um, just behind the uh, sink. So that's it for this one. Um, that's all the rooms that it's got. It's um, it's not a bad it's not a bad size. Four point four point five million. Maybe just for me, it's just not worth four point five million for for what you get. Um, but that's my choice or our choice. Uh, so moving on to uh, our final destination, which was actually the house that we've decided uh, to buy. So we go in the house and uh, the first thing we'll look at is the kitchen. As you can see, it's all open plan. The units themselves are all pretty dated. So we're gonna rip the kitchen out and put in a, a European kitchen. Uh, the floor, the floor tiles, um, pretty old and dated. So what we'll do, we will completely tile the whole floor uh, again. Uh, Nina has picked some tiles, so we'll completely tile the whole floor right through the house. And I'll show you the, the living area. So there's your, your doors outside onto the pool. And then we've got a TV unit there, which I'll probably leave in. That has just been fed. So a TV unit there. And it's quite a big space here, so we'll be able to get a, like, a nice sofa in. We're going to redecorate. Obviously, we're going to be taking the wallpaper off the walls and, and redecorating the way we like. The aircon units um, are old, so we're going to replace the aircon units as well. We've got uh, one, two, three of them to replace. This is the small bedroom, has en suite, again it's all livable but it's pretty dated and we are going to change it all. So what I'll do is I'll do a video when we do, do the refurbishment as we go through and, uh, and show, you, show you being done stage by stage. It's probably going to be in a couple of months um, but I will keep you updated on what we're doing. So all this is coming out. All going to be retiled. This is the bedroom, as I said, number two. The wardrobe's there. Again, usable, but pretty dated. So they are coming out and we're going to replace them. Um, probably make them a bit smaller as it's going to be just the second bedroom and where we've got sockets there. Um, obviously we'll have a bit more space along here. So what I'll do is I'll put a computer desk there. You can open the doors out onto the uh, onto the landing there and the, and the pool, which I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll be doing. And again, it's just a matter of painting and uh, new wallpaper to suit uh, Nina's taste, not mine. Obviously, I won't have a choice in that. New lights have just been fitted, so we will be leaving those in the new ceiling lights. They are quite nice. They've just been fitted. As I say, the aircon units are pretty dated, so we'll be replacing them. So we'll go and have a look at the other bedroom now, which is going to be the main bedroom, our bedroom. Again, wardrobes, they're coming out, and we're going to put wardrobes all the way along this wall uh, with mirrored, mirrored doors. Again, a fan new ceiling lights in there so it is literally just new wardrobes the floor will be retiled as I've already said 
and then we'll, we'll wallpaper and paint and that will be pretty much done and re again replace the, uh, the aircon unit. The aircon units work but they are, they are dated so I don't see the point in us um, leaving them in and then ending up having to change them once we've decorated the house so we'll be doing that straight away. Okay the ensuite in this room is a little bit bigger than the uh, second bedroom and there's a double sink in there but that we're going to be taking that out and putting just one sink in there Let's give us a bit more space we don't need two sinks uh, the shower unit again it's it is all you know ready to use and we could just could just uh, leave it as it is but we want to modernize it so that'll be coming out and i'll show you what happens when we do the refurbishment in here as well we'll be retiling the whole area and replacing the toilet and shower cubicle etc but as I say, quite a big, uh, quite a big bathroom this one. So that's it. That's the house that we've bought. Um, we've paid um, three million for it, and that includes the swimming pool, which I'm very happy with. Um, these were a lot more expensive just 12 months ago before the the COVID uh, COVID pandemic hit. Um, so hopefully when uh, things get back to normal, uh, the price of the house will increase, but it doesn't really matter because it's an investment for Nina. She's obviously Thai and it's an investment for her uh, for the future. And obviously it's where we're going to be living going forward. Okay, so that's the house we decided uh, to go for. And then we decided to fly back to the UK. You may wonder why, well, there are many reasons. We also always intended doing that anyway. Um, we've got a dog here, so we need to get organized to get a dog over to Thailand. Um, we've got to sell a house or rent the house, haven't decided which way I'm going to go on that one yet. Um, and also my son is getting married in July. Um, so we took the opportunity to come back um, just as the lockdown um, started again in Pattaya uh, or in Thailand. Um, and we also thought we'd get the vaccines while we're here. So we've had our first shot of the vaccine and we should get the next one in about 12 weeks, uh, 12 weeks time. We will continue to do videos from here. Um, obviously it is in Thailand so some people may not, may not want to watch the videos hopefully you will stick with us because we will be back there in October and we will be doing some uh, some more videos um, when we get back um, but we'll do some videos on our life here and how we're getting on getting things put together and getting things ready for us to move back to Thailand so like I say please subscribe to the channel and give us a big like if you've enjoyed the video and we'll speak to you soon thanks for watching